friends and welcome back to our channel or welcome if you are new if you are new my name is abby my name is emily and we are doing a little vlog for you guys we know you guys love vlogs and we honestly do struggle with vlogs i'm not gonna yeah, lie for real <laughs> we don't really know what we're gonna do yet we are just gonna wing it so i feel like we love vlogging when it's like a holiday season so that's right. easy but like for everyday life we just don't like know what to talk about or what to do but this weekend i am going to the drake concert with a group of friends abby isn't coming unfortunately i wish she was but you know yeah so i might Sad. pick up the vlog then because i do want to vlog that anyway yeah and that way we can kind of just mesh the two days mm -hmm. but we're gonna start this video with a white fox haul because we just got a ton of stuff and we're so excited to share with you guys as yes. always we love getting new clothes from them every time we get so a new package fun. it's like christmas morning we're so excited Literally. so i think we should just do that now yeah and then let's show them what we'll figure out what i got from white fox yeah. so come along to yeah. our filming setup you guys want to see a little behind the scenes <laughs> we sit on this bench and here's our clothes and you just sit right here not all the time but just for today because my our filming room is a disaster oh, it has yes. wedding stuff everywhere and then it has white fox stuff everywhere so okay really quickly before we get into the haul i just wanted to say thank you white fox for sponsoring this video we love working with them you guys already know this and we do have a discount code with them it is mcknight wf for 15 percent off of your order also they offer after pay to us new zealand and australian customers they also offer express worldwide shipping which we always get when we order with them to impatient so, highly to recommend so let's so. get into it the first thing we're wearing is this cute ass tank top yeah i saw these on their website i was like oh yes we need these they're everything we need them they're i so want that cool. color too so maybe next time we'll yeah. get the other colors because abby and i love wearing these um it's a great transition piece from summer to fall because you can wear it obviously just like this but we love wearing these kind of tops underneath our puffer jackets in the fall um i don't know why that's just like our staple yeah. i feel like we always wear that when we're running errands or going shopping yeah these are kind of more of like a cool girl grunge vibe mm -hmm. almost um so even like a oversized bomber jacket or something would look really cute with them mm -hmm. and i love like the ribbed material and then it just says white fox in the middle there it's giving prada vibes I know, seriously, it really is. I saw them, I was like, these look expensive. Yeah. Um, and, and they, they feel, yeah. They're so thick, you guys. Really You're not thick. gonna see through this at all. Like, I did not have to wear a bra with this, but obviously, I wanted to make my girls, you know, yeah, have their moment. Is, but like the straps are really thick, too. So, if you do wear a bra with it, you can't see your bra can't straps, see. like nothing. Yeah. So, I love the cut of this top. Yeah, they're super cute. Super fun. I actually sized down in this top to an extra small because I wanted it to be a little bit more tight and I'm glad I did. Emily got a small. So the first thing I want to talk about is a super cute kind of revealing sports bra, but I love it so much. I've never actually tried White Fox's active wear before, but this sports bra is amazing quality. It makes the girls look really good. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's so true the statement, look good, feel good, especially when you're going to the gym. Right. Like you want to look good mm -hmm. and and then you perform better yeah. in the gym. So I thought this was such a cute sports bra and I absolutely needed it. It's called the High Definition Sports Bra and I got it in a size small. I feel like that's it unique. It's perfect. It is. And it's really open back. It'll be easier when I show it on. Love it though. So cute. I've also not really gotten anything from their activewear line or their sports clothes. I don't know why because we work out a lot and we work with them all the time. Yeah. But we just always are drawn to their like more fancy going out clothes. But um, these pants, I don't know if they're... Yeah, I can show you them right now. I'll do a different clip. Mm -hmm. And these are so those look soft. so comfy. So comfy. I honestly feel like I'm gonna wear these all the time, either mm -hmm. at the house or when I'm running errands. I wanna live in these. Mm -hmm. They're so cozy. So Emily and I kind of got matching bikinis. They're just a different color. But I picked these out for us actually because I fell in love with this. With these bikinis. They're so mm -hmm. cool. And they give like Tulum, Mexico, vacation vibes. Yeah. These bikinis. Expensive beach vacation. Yeah, I loved the material and the texture on mm -hmm. the, these bikinis. And they have these cool multicolored beads in the middle. So the top is just a triangle top, but it has the beads on the strings in the back as well. And then the bottoms are just side tie. I bottoms. love these bikinis. They're With so cute. The cool little beads. I know. I'm so obsessed. I'm going to be holding on to this and holding out mm -hmm. off on wearing this until I go on my honeymoon. And I love like the light cream color. I was going to say that color is beautiful. This color is really nice too, but it's almost 
a little too close to my skin tone. I kind of look naked, but, but okay. I still love the shade. So, so pretty though. The bottoms we got in a small and then the top's a medium. The Koo, ooh, Kalua Alua. bikini bottom or bikini top. And then the, is it the same thing? Yeah, Kona bottoms. bottoms. Yeah, obsessed. Okay, I have one more bikini to share with you guys and she's different. I know you guys are probably like, whoa, that's, <laughs> out there for you em and it is because i usually don't like very colorful. vibrant bikinis i told emily that she needed colorful bikinis in hawaii yeah. and she didn't have any so she had to borrow a few of mine and now you probably realize yeah. you need some I'm of like, your oh, own oh they look so good with a tan yeah, i just feel they're like they're fun. really fun anyway this bikini is so beautiful it's like this vibrant mint color and then pink which i feel like these colors complement each other really well uh, this top is called the Golden Hour Bikini Top. Got it in a size small. And then uh, the Rule Breaker Bottoms. Got these in a size small as well. And they both fit really good. And I love this bikini. I just have literally a box of clothes that I'm saving for my honeymoon. Yeah, and it's just this white fox box that just has all white fox clothes in it. I know. And this is definitely going in that, that box. So cute. You guys, I'm so in love with this. Really cute pink like beachy maxi dress it has glitter in it i don't know if you guys will be able to tell but it's like shimmery it's so pretty which is so beautiful yeah and it fits so good it is a little bit hard to walk in i will say it's very tight at the bottom there's no slit so it's just like you're kind of like walking. yeah no heels so you're gonna have to wear sandals <laughs> yeah but it's so cute and the way it fits is really nice that and color though extremely good quality yeah they also have I'm an orange obsessed. one and the orange one's stunning too oh maybe i need the orange yeah. one for dinner like nighttime vibes I didn't so see this cute. on their site, but that's so pretty. It is, yeah. I love it. Is it itchy at all since it's like... No, actually, this one wasn't itchy. Okay. No. Yeah. That's Maybe really it will be like in the sun. Sometimes I feel like when you're out in the heat, yeah, this material you're not going to wear it like in the mid middle of the day. You're yeah. going to wear that at night. And it'll be worth it. And then another thing I am going to be saving for vacation is this little bright coral peach cover-up it's like fishnets and then this has a little bit of um shimmer too the there's sequins. like little sequins probably can't it. see but so it's giving like mermaid vibes mm -hmm. and i love the fit of this i think just having a simple white plain white bikini under this would be so pretty yes, it would and i love that i'm obsessed this is probably my favorite thing i got besides the bikini <laughs> i'm obsessed i like this was better than i even thought it was gonna be uh -huh. and this is called the over him mini dress and it's size small it's called baby pink but when you say it's like a peachy that's girl, not baby. yeah i don't think that's baby pink yeah but it's really pretty love, love that color so much. okay so abby and i got another matching top um how cute are these you guys i'm obsessed with them they're very like rocker gothic girl kind of vibe which yeah i've been loving lately me too um, especially with silver detailing i've been obsessed with silver jewelry mm -hmm. lately so i thought that this would just be perfect um i might wear one of these to the drake concert i most likely am yeah because i think it's just a really cool top and it's perfect for that I perfect think. concert vibe yeah. yeah so this is called the best for you bustier we got them in a size small they fit good um they're a little tight but that's okay a little tight but there is some stretch to it um at least this part well you can adjust like. there's like a little string that you can adjust to make this yeah. a little bit wider if you need yeah. um, and then this is obviously like a halter neck which is adjustable so mm -hmm. it works and yeah. it makes the girls look good which is what's really important <laughs> for real <laughs> so the next thing i got is this white lacy strapless so kind of like an asymmetrical vibe dress it's so pretty and girly it just has white lace all over it i actually might wear this to my rehearsal at the venue and then for our rehearsal dinner i'm not sure yet but i do think it would be really cute for that mm -hmm. and i just can't believe my wedding is next week you guys i'm freaking out i bet you're like excited okay. to like just not worry about it because it's oh, i'm been so, so stressful. ready for just the day to be here just so i can enjoy it and then put it all behind me i'm so <laughs> over it i'm sorry like i know that sounds like rude but I'm no just, it doesn't I'm i feel like a lot of brides it. can relate to that because yeah you know you don't really see so much what stress. goes behind the scenes to get a wedding organized yeah yeah it's a lot but i love how you can adjust the length of it too on the side so it kind of does creep up a little bit high on your leg which adds a nice sexy touch and this is called the you're the one strapless mini dress in a size small oh, that name is perfect too i know it's I really cute i think Sorry. i will i don't have yeah. anything else so. so i also picked up a dress but this one's a more sexy like going out style dress it's called the long nights 
dress in i got a size small in this this material is very breathable and stretchy which i love when i'm going out because i hate being uncomfortable um this is so comfortable it really doesn't feel like you're wearing anything fancy but it's this like cross halter neck dress with this mesh overlay it's gonna be hard to show what it looks like off so you guys will see it on in the video but i love this dress i think it's super sexy and like i said super comfortable okay next up i got a pair of denim these are kind of like a loose fit little bit of a low lower rise than a boyfriend fit yeah i love the little white fox logo what is that patch or logo yeah. yeah on the back i think that's so cute and i love the butt of it too i just love the way that white fox jeans look on the butt mm -hmm. I think they, they put their really pockets good. high yeah so it makes your booty look lifted and perky yeah or even this it's a, it's a little bit of a looser fit but it looks so cute mm -hmm. i don't know i love it just has one little rip on the side and yeah i love the wash the color mm -hmm. of them is really nice and they fit really good mm -hmm. the small fits perfect in these um these are called the no longer yours straight leg denim jeans okay this next top i got is a very simple top but it's also really unique once i put it on i was like wow this is so cute and just very classy and sexy at the same time you can wear this with a mini skirt you can wear it with leather pants high-waisted jeans and it's just a very versatile top like a staple to have in your wardrobe i feel like it'd be really nice to wear on date night so Again, this material is super soft and stretchy and it's like, so a, it's like a double lined mesh top. So it's really flowy and it has some ruching on the side. So that's also a nice detail. And I'm actually just really impressed with this top. I didn't know if I was going to actually like it on me, but I actually really do love this top. And it's called the Everyday With You top in a size small. Next up, I got a little set that I thought would be so perfect for transitioning into the fall. Like this little oatmeal mini skirt that looks like a sweater it's like a sweater material and it's so flattering and so comfortable and i feel like it's really hard to find skirts that are flattering on my body for mm -hmm. some reason but this one is so cute when i tried this on i was like this you were like feeling a 10 yourself. out of 10 for me um this is called the city that never Le that never sleeps mini skirt i think i already said i got a size small and then i got the matching or i don't know if it's yeah, I think it is like a set on the website, but they're sold separately. But it's just this long sleeve Love kind that. of like knit top with Ooh. flare sleeves. I like that they're not too big. Like sometimes yeah. when they do the bell sleeves and they're too big, it's like obnoxious. But this is like the perfect amount, I think. Yeah. So I thought this set would just be perfect for date night in the fall yes. when it gets a little bit chilly but not super cold. And you mm -hmm. can just wear it with knee-high boots and... It could be a vibe. It would be. So, very cute. Yeah. And I need more things like this. Mm -hmm. I feel like as I get older, like I need to stop just doing jeans and a yeah. top. Like, no, I love that. Sometimes I need to step out of my comfort zone. Okay, another black going out top. This is a <laughs> bodysuit. It's called the Wish It Was You bodysuit. Got it in a size small. Again, you're not going to be able to really tell what it looks like off. Oh, that's cool. So, though. it's a really unique bodysuit. And I know when the fall season starts i'm wearing black basically every day mm -hmm. so this is a really comfy bodysuit the material is really stretchy and it's almost like a swimsuit material mm -hmm. but it fits really nicely and is really flattering and i like that there's only two clasps on the bodysuit to make sure it's not too bulky and it's not uncomfortable to wear next up i got a lounge set because you know the vibes <laughs> if you know white fox is known for their loungewear and their hoodies so i got this set i'm actually wearing the joggers right now with them so it's just this like kind of like a yellowy nude color i think the color is called khaki sand sand okay sand is the color um so it's more of like a warm toned nude and then it just has this dark gray embroidering it says white fox sports academy it also has it on the back so I just love my neutral hoodies. Mm -hmm. So, very simple. Love this. Very comfy. I did size up. I decided I'm going to start sizing up in the hoodies to a medium large instead of a small medium. Because they do shrink a little. And I like them to be more oversized. So, I picked up two sweatshirts. One of them is a quarter zip. Because I've said this in the last few hauls that we've done with them. But I'm obsessed with quarter zips. I reach for them way more than my hoodies. This is called the Project 5 Zip Front Sweater. I got this in a medium large. I just love the black on black. Yeah. Like I said, black Bye. is my go-to all fall and winter long. Um, and it's like this cool 
font that almost looks spooky. So yeah. I feel like it's perfect yeah. for fall. I have that too. So we can twin. Oh, you do? When we go get our Starbucks. Oh, I didn't know you had it. Yeah, yeah we'll have it. to do that. And then the last thing I got is another hoodie. I love this one. Mm, this me one's too. so fun and different. It's kind of like, it's giving NASA <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Star like, Trek energy. Yeah. But it just says White Fox. And it's like neon yellow with this little star. These colors and go on. really well together. I, I agree. Mm -hmm. It is a nice contrast. And I'm obsessed with the way this hoodie feels. Uh, fits. Mm -hmm. I got this in a medium large as well. It's called the pay it forward oversized hoodie and this one has a pocket So I Yay. love <laughs> a good pocket and this is probably my favorite color mm -hmm. that white fox has moon. moon? Yeah mm -hmm. Obsessed. Yeah, and I have a lot so I'm so excited added to, to the collection this. on a whole Side of my closet the biggest wall is all white fox hoodies. Yeah, it's it's, it's getting crazy. out of hand. I'm like, I feel like I need to donate some to my friends because it's getting to the point yeah. where I can't even like put any more in my closet. Yeah. They're all like smushed together. And I know. It's, my boyfriend came over and he was like, geez, how many hoodies do you need? I was like, the limit does not know. exist. You never know what vibe you're going to be feeling. The like limit that. just doesn't exist. Um, speaking of. Speaking one of. One more hoodie. One more. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't have one in this color gray, so I thought it was different. So that was my reasoning for it. Show it first before um, you say the name. <laughs> yeah, so it's just this like Heather Gray hoodie, and it just has very minimal branding on it. You guys can barely tell that it says White Fox Season. And this is called the Future Forward Oversized Hoodie. I did get this in a small medium, actually. It still fits really good, and I love it. It's still oversized. That's yeah. a good thing. It's yeah. Like their stuff is oversized. It's just very simple. Yeah. But I know I'm going to wear it a lot. Yeah. It's super cozy. It's, it's like unisex, lines. too. That could, super soft. I have to work for a man, too. Yeah, if I got a bigger size. Yeah. Probably. Okay. Well, that is everything that we picked up from White Fox. And we hope you babes enjoyed. I know you guys love our white fox hauls so we're gonna film our try on clips now and then we're gonna see where the day takes us we'll see we we might go to um marshall's and home goods yeah that's Gate been Harbor. like our go-to thing to do lately because halloween stuff yeah I'm and obsessed. you guys know the fall is approaching <laughs> it's already i'm my mind is already there mm -hmm. but i have to get i have to do the wedding first yeah then after the wedding i'm decorating i'm so excited let's pop it let's pop it so we just got to home goods because like we said we have been obsessed with going at least twice a week i've the been past going three weeks at least yeah i've been going an ungodly amount i have we have so many bags of of home goods marshall's tj maxx halloween decor mm -hmm. but i can't stop it's a full-blown addiction right now but anyways we got our emerald city smoothies oh my god my nails are so i'm waiting till next week to get them done for the wedding <laughs> um yeah we got a peanut passion that's smoothie. my favorite smoothie we're trying and we are trying to be good we're trying to cut back on our horrible eating habits for a couple weeks battery's gonna die i know i was saying that i was like mm -hmm. wow we didn't even charge a battery Shoot. But yeah, we have a week or like two weeks to lose 10 pounds. So wish us luck. I wish us luck. I don't even think less that healthy because I think it's like it's puree. Not. It's it tastes way too good to be mm -hmm. truly fruit. This is like sugar. Okay. Let's yeah. go shopping though. Let's go. Look Let's and go see if they got anything new in the last couple days <laughs> because I was here two days ago. <laughs> okay, we just got home from shopping and we're gonna make a Kim Kardashian inspired salad. I guess it's Kim K's favorite salad. Mm -hmm. So these are all the ingredients. We'll tell you guys if it's actually good or not. But we have, what is this? Bib, bib lettuce? What no, is it? Romaine. Romaine lettuce that we're gonna chop up ourselves because I feel like it just is better that way. Mm -hmm. um, garbanzo beans, Dijon mustard, red wine vinegar, salt, pepper, olive oil, mozzarella, and provolone, and grated Parmesan cheese and salami I'm gonna get to i can't really call it cooking <laughs> preparing get to chopping get to chopping and preparing and then we're going to show you guys what we got from home goods we did get a few bits <laughs> from home goods marshall's was a flop yeah honestly but thank okay. god okay so i kind of just eyeballed everything and then you just mix this up i'm scared <laughs> I think you need to put more parmesan. You need more parm? I think so. I don't know what the cons- I need to check my video real like quick and see what the friend. consistency is. Some chickpeas and romaine, a handful of salami, and some onion. 
Wait, let's break no, it's too okay, fast. Okay, we're making the Kardashian salad. We're starting off with some Dijon, red wine vinegar, salt, pepper, Parmesan, and some olive oil. Give that a good mix. Then we're adding some chickpeas and romaine. Hers is thinner. This is thick. I some more olive oil than probably. Mm. Okay, so now we're adding the garbanzo beans. Not my favorite, but did she put the whole thing in there? I don't. Maybe don't put, don't put the whole yeah, thing. Enough. And then good. salami. I'll move this out. Uh, then she does the romaine. Then the salami at the end, and kind of tosses it all. We are so bad in the <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> we are not those girlies. We cook. unfortunately are not. So Laura would be cooking girly. So disappointed in us right now. We're trying. No, she'd be proud that we're trying. <laughs> I'm proud of us because usually we just find something like to go pre-made or frozen and just heat up or we'll just go so get Mexican food. Tongs. Honestly, a salad sounds so good right now. So I'm yeah. excited because salad. yeah, I've been wanting more greens in my diet and like refreshing things. I don't, I want to say this is healthy, but I don't know. I did have to use kind of a lot of olive oil for the dressing. Salami is also not the healthiest thing for you. Okay. We'll be right back. <laughs> Dave's dad in the background. <laughs> He's always naked, y'all. This will be a perfect amount, I think. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, let's go do a taste test. Yeah. Okay, here we go. We're gonna try it. We're not big salad girlies, but no, I feel like the I older you get, salad. the older you get, the more you appreciate a good salad. I just don't make them at home. Like, yeah. I just don't, I don't know. I used to, but let me get everything in this bite. I think it needed like feta cheese or something. It did say to add some mozzarella cheese and we did buy this one. This is mozzarella and provolone. So I'm gonna sprinkle some of this on there. Yeah, that might be good. Cause I think it just needs something else. That's really good though. That might be better. I love cheese. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of like, like a- Salami needs cheese, I feel like, you know? Yeah. I don't know if it's um because of the red wine vinegar, but it's reminding me of like a grinder sandwich or like J Jersey Mike's sucks. Mm -hmm. Like, cause we love Jersey Mike's. It's been like my latest obsession. No, it's a lot better with the cheese. Is it? Mm-hmm. It just flows better, in my opinion. All right, well, we're gonna finish eating this and yeah. we're gonna show you guys what we got from Home Goods. Yeah, we I know you guys are excited. We actually found a lot at Home Goods. Nothing at Marshall's, but a lot at Home Goods. So that was hard to narrow it down. But we narrowed it down. I think we did good. Mm -hmm. So I'll show you guys. In a minute. Our battery's dying, so we're gonna try really hard to get through this without it dying. So the first thing I got, uh oh, oh, I stuck on something, is this pillow that says Happy Halloween, and it's just this like kind of looks like boucle, mm -hmm. um, black and white, and I just thought it was really cute to put on the couch upstairs. In our other Halloween home decor haul, I show these candle holders that I got but they didn't come with candles on it. So I thought these were perfect to add to those. They're really cool. They're these skull candlesticks. I don't know if you guys can see. They're glossy. I don't think you can actually burn them. It has a wick at the top, but like that's so sketchy to me because yeah, they're so glossy and waxy, but they're just all these skulls stacked on top of each other, which I thought was really cool and unique. And these were only $6.99. So yeah, I thought that was a good deal. The next thing I got, I have got a lot of Halloween and fall and fall mugs this year. I just want to have a big variety. This one was so cute. It's like the neutral, um, kind of like farmhouse vibes with the spider web. And I just thought it was really cute to just drink your coffee out of in the morning. So I got this pumpkin that Abby has as well, but I love how small it is because I feel like I have a lot of bigger things and I need more small things to fill the spaces. And this was only $5.99. It's just this black pumpkin with these skeleton hands. So this matches the aesthetic perfectly and I needed it. I guess I did not get very much this time. I thought I got more, but that's, that's what okay. I was saying. I was like, really oh, because I kept putting things back last minute. Yeah. Okay, so I got two of these candlesticks, like concrete candle yeah, holders. Looking. Candle holders <laughs> with like a neutral melted candle on the top. You do put batteries in these. I need to put batteries in them and see how they look because I'm scared it's going to be like red. But I, I got the other ones right here. I don't feel like taking them. It's cool because these light up too though. So yeah, I'm going to go get batteries while Emily shows her next thing because I want to see what that see looks what like. See what it takes? Triple A or? Is it, I'm sure it's double A. No, it's three triple A batteries. I also got a mug and this one, I was like, you really don't need that. But I thought I did because I haven't seen one of these anywhere. It was $9.99, so it's more expensive than the other mugs, but 
look at it you guys it's the scream guy and it kind of reminds me of scary movie not gonna lie like I, that's what i think of when i see him but i still think this is really cool and unique and different you really want me to get a little screwdriver too oh yeah that's too much Put doing the most too much Oh my gosh, that's so annoying. It's annoying. Okay, well, I guess not I'll today. find out another time. Yeah. I also got one of those little LED candle holders, but it's with this skeleton, and there's like a, a spider web, these bats on there, and I thought it was just really cool and different, and this also <laughs> lights up these little... Oh, I love that. Yeah, I think this is really cool. See, I'm hoping these flames are like that. Mm -hmm. Not and like spread. $12.99, so yeah, not bad. Emma and I are really feeling the skeleton vibes. Like yeah, neutral, the gothic vibe. Neutral gothic skeleton vibes, mm -hmm. for sure, is what we're going for. Yeah. So, I love everything though, it's so cute. It's, I know I got it's not two that more much. things. Oh, good. I got two of these. It has this little skull on it, but I hate packing up seasonal glassware that's like breakable because then I'm so stressed that it's gonna break in the box or whatever. So acrylic is just more safe to pack away. Yeah, that true. was my thought process. And they were only $4.99 each, so. That's very true. I love. I have one more thing. We actually stopped by Big Lots because we've been seeing some girls pick up some really cute stuff from there. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't find what we were looking for, unfortunately, but I did find this and I thought it was so cool. It's this outdoor mat, door mat, and I think it's so cool. Yeah, that is cool. If it's, like I said, my aesthetic is all black and white, yes. and it's gonna look so cute next to like that big ghost and then the black skeleton hanging. I have a vision. Yeah. I hope it looks as good the as spider webs. I'm, yeah, imagining it, yeah. But yeah, that's everything we picked up yeah. this time around. I'm like, I look like a mess right now. <laughs> I know, it's been a long it's day. It's been a really long day. Hey, hey babes. babes, we are currently, oh, almost gonna get in a car accident. <laughs> <laughs> We're currently on the way to our hotel room in Seattle because tonight we are going to the Drake concert with a ton of our friends and we're so excited. Look how much tanner Igor is than me and I'm really annoyed. I look like I'm dying next to him. I applied loving town on him last night and he looks flawless. Here I am looking like I am in the Victorian era, just recovering from influenza. It's fine, it's fine. Um, but yeah, obviously I still have to do my makeup, gotta change, but we're excited, we're ready. Um, I've been seeing some mixed reviews about the concert on TikTok and Instagram, so it'll be interesting to see our opinion. But I'm gonna start hydrating now because obviously we're gonna be drinking probably a lot. The blue sugar-free Gatorade is the best. You can't Her tell me otherwise. <laughs> Literally. Look at Seattle, it's a little smoky still because we had uh, or we didn't really have fires in this area, but in eastern Washington and it came over same with uh, northern California But the city is just Beautiful. I love it. She's a beaut. <laughs> we love Seattle Big Seattle fans. Oh, I'll have to show you guys when we get to the hotel. Igor got a new whip He got the AMG GLE Thanks to you. Yeah, I kind of convinced him. I kind of convinced him. We'll see you guys when we get there and I'll give you guys a little room tour. Bye! I don't think I've ever seen a more sexy car. Okay, we made it to the hotel. This hotel was so packed. The line was almost out the door to check in. It took so long and I literally sat down in the lobby and started doing my makeup and people were watching me and laughing at me. So, you know, today's just not been, not been on my side but I'm hoping things turn around. Now that we're here, in our room and I can actually start getting ready. Um, here's what the room looks like. Very simple and modern, which I love. Nice little couch and then a beautiful city view. Cheers here's to Drizzy. I was gonna say that. <laughs> and to you and me. Forever, forever. together forever. Mm -hmm. We're gonna know each other forever. Yeah, I just want to take a chaser with this, by the way. It's a sipping tequila. I don't care. I can't. <laughs> I can't believe I'm drinking tequila at all. I'm not a tequila person, but this one is good. This good. As good as tequila can get. We're you gotta go. We're on the way. Why would you say that? Because everybody said they're on the way. I hate you. Look, all no, right. look. We gotta get dressed, bye. Okay. We're both 
late. really late. We've already said this, and I actually don't think it was our fault. We tried our best, but you know what? It's still gonna be a good night. So we're about to head out. I just wanted to show you guys the fits because um, I think they're bomb. You look sexy. You look sexy. This top, White Fox Boutique, I'm obsessed. So hot, sexy. I love the silver accents because I've been loving silver jewelry lately. I got uh, some rings from Amazon, necklaces from Amazon, and then obviously, like I said, the White Fox top. And just gonna wear some Nike Dunks. Abby surprisingly let me borrow her Dunks. So I'm gonna show you guys the shoes. I'm gonna try not to ruin them, so. And if I do, I'm just gonna have to buy them from her. That's our system. If I borrow something and I ruin it, I have to pay for it. Fair. White and gray dunks. Not a dunk girl, but tonight I am. Same with him and his Jordans. Come here, babe. Let me get let me show them your fit. <laughs> white Fox Boutique, White Fox Boutique, White Fox Boutique. Yeah. He's a special white fox <laughs> They look cool for this concert. Do you do you like I'm not this? a Jordan girl. I hate Jordans actually. My brother got these for me for my 30th birthday. They look good with the fit and for the vibe of the night. So, okay, let's go. We gotta go. We're late. Can't bring my camera into the venue, but I will be vlogging on my phone. And yeah. Yay! I'm so excited. Are you? <laughs> I'm too sexy for the surf. Too sexy for your girl. Too sexy <laughs> for this world. Too uh, sexy uh, for this uh. ice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. Good night in Seattle. I need to do a shot of tequila with y'all tonight, because it's... I don't know. Look, cheers to you. Like I said, I'll never leave you alone for five years ever again in my life, I promise you. So if you're proud to be from Seattle, or if you call Seattle home and you got a drink, I want you to raise your glass up. This is how we gonna do this next section. Fuck the show for a second. What is this? It's not real. <laughs> hold on, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, are you playing keys? Stop this for a second. I gotta ask you a serious question. Did you just look at me and say, this is your mom's? This is your mother's bra that you brought to the show. Where is your mama at? You gotta send her my love. And, and by the way, you gotta send her my love and you gotta tell her to get Instagram ASAP. This is insane. What the hell? I could use this shit as a do-rag tonight. Nah, this is crazy. What size is this? Like, what is this? This is insane. This might be the record breaker. I, I think it has to be. What is it? It's it's called it's a full coverage bra. Clearly. <laughs> what size is this? Oh my God! I see the size. It's a 46 J. Shout out to your mama, girl. Make some noise to this girl's mama right here. 